Oh, I just heard someone knock on the door. I've been waiting on a package. Let's go get it. That's a heavy box. Well, as I matured in my photography and videography endeavors, I actually got tired of using a lightweight tripod and I uh, upgraded my camera system and got the Canon EOS R, which is what I'm filming on right now. And I'm a little bit scared to use the thing because every time I put my Sigma or any kind of heavier lens on the front of it, it starts to dip or can out of nowhere fall. Or if I'm doing nighttime photography and I'm aiming up at the sky, it won't stay put. So it was time to get a new tripod. And also, as I have figured out, that it is nice to be able to use a monopod and not have to carry around a heavy tripod when you're doing wedding engagement, photo shoots, so on and so forth, because you can just pick it up and move around the room. And you can also multi-purpose as a somewhat of a gimbal. So I had to buy both of those and I think they were very necessary and I had to buy a, a better fluid head or at least the tripod that I'm about to open up for you has one. So I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to open this box and see what's inside. Open it up towards you. Yeah, there we go. So there you go. Bunch of paper, right? So paper, paper. All right. So first thing off is the KNF Concept Monopod. So once I uh, get the tripod out of here and open it up and let you see what it's all about, then I'll break this one open and. Let you be, be the judge of if it's any good or not. So this is all that's in the box here. There, that's a little better. So what we have here is the RegTech, RegiTech heavy duty tripod. And it's foldable, foldable, simple operation. Don't they all say that? Personalized series and maximum stability. Well, that's kind of what I was hoping for. And this is the RG60A01. I gambled on it, I read the reviews, and for the price, it was like $125. Apparently, it's well worth, you know, protecting a very expensive camera system. So, go ahead and open this thing up here. You can see it here. And the big unveiling, here we go. That's oh, in a big bag. Wow. All right. That was loud. And wow, that's a pretty high quality nylon bag here. Very thick. It feels padded as well. Okay. Oh, it's got hooks on it so you can shoulder strap. So I'm assuming that there's a shoulder strap in it. And here we go. We're gonna unzip it and more stuff to unwrap. Okay. So, this is kind of cool where the fluid head fits in here. Kind of wraps around there to hold it to protect it. And there's your shoulder strap. Okay, this is the handle to the fluid head. Doesn't spin or turn or anything, it just has one particular job. Okay, good. Don't need any complex gear here. Got enough of that. All right, nothing else in the plastic bag. We're gonna chuck that. These are a set of Allen wrenches and some instructions on how to use a tripod. And we are going to take this out and go ahead and remove this. And 
I'll tell you right now, this is actually really good quality so far. Uh, it's an aluminum tripod stand. I like the quick release features on it. You just lift up the latch like that and like that. And you just let it slide out there. So I'll film it for you to give you a better angle of it. And it's got the very, very sturdy feet on the end of it. And apparently you lift up on this ring right here and you can take these off. That's really cool. Holy crap, I love that. Now, for those of you who have, who have had these before, that's probably nothing new to you, but that's really cool to me. So that makes it really simple. I hope they last a long time. And also, there's little hooks here, or little pegs that you could probably stick on, you know, a wooden deck or something like that, or, you know, some stability or places to put it where it won't slide. So, very, very nice. So far, so good. Pretty happy with this. And the fluid head, we'll give that one a real test here shortly, but yeah nice let's move on to the monopod very nice this is the knf concept the kf mp2624 and it's got a foam handle on it looks pretty sturdy yep quarter inch 20 pitch thread on the end standard camera adapter then you've got your release latches here and 67 inch so very good because not only will I be using this for putting my camera on here and I'm gonna apply a lot of pressure on it and I am actually putting probably about 40 to 50 pounds on it and it isn't giving way whatsoever uh, as far as flexibility I don't feel a whole lot of bend to it. So that's good because I'd like to be able to put my camera, I want to be able to put like a gimbal on the end of this and raise it up to places to be able to get shots that you typically wouldn't get anywhere else. And I have a GoPro with a smooth cue that I could use on the end of it. I don't know if I'm going to be using my big gimbal on this but it seems like it will hold it pretty well so maybe if i put my canon m50 on there i don't think i'm going to be raising my my eos r on this thing above the house tops because that just doesn't seem safe so well there's the unboxing let's see what they can do the quick release latches on this tripod were so easy to use and all you have to do is lift them out lifts straight up and the legs automatically expand. The fluid head, I figured there would be some catches as I went from left to right like my last fluid head, but there were absolutely none. And you can easily change out fluid heads on this thing. If you're left-handed, you can use the handle and adjust it to the other side, which is also a major plus. You can lock and loosen the adjustability for front to back, left to right, and I know, clean the screen but you know what it's a touch screen so I left it there on purpose it's practical the fluidity of this thing is absolutely amazing and at night I don't have to worry about my camera falling off and I get very good angles for nighttime photography there is a, a level a liquid level built into it as well so when you're adjusting the underarm and you can tighten it back up once you get it level and you're good to go so also again with adjustability as far as the height goes you could grab a chair and get some family photos from up high but wow i'm short and this sucks so thanks for watching i hope you got something out of this uh, i'm really proud of the new tripod and the new monopod i'm going to be using them quite a bit to reach out to you and give you some better material to watch 
and I'm not going to be doing any iPhone 11 reviews anywhere in the near future because within that first hour that they came out, there were like 20 of them and I'm not one of those that jump on board and not to mention the fact I don't have one and I'm not jealous at all. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell and Thanks for sticking with me because I'm having a blast and I'm trying to push more product out there as much as I possibly can. Not to make money off it because I'm not monetized yet. So, what's there to lose? Hit the subscribe button. Hang out with me for a while. Watch me grow because I'm doing the best I can. Have a great week and I'll see you guys in the next video.